An instruction set, or instruction set architecture, is the part of the computer architecture related to programming, including the native data types, instructions, registers, addressing modes, memory architecture, interrupt and exception handling, and external I.O. An ISA includes a specification of the set of opcodes, and the native commands implemented by a particular processor. Overview. Instruction set architecture is distinguished from the microarchitecture, which is the set of processor design techniques used to implement the instruction set. Computers with different microarchitectures can share a common instruction set. For example, the Intel Pentium and the AMD Athlon implement nearly identical versions of the x86 instruction set, but have radically different internal designs. The concept of an architecture, distinct from the design of a specific machine, was developed by Fred Brooks at IBM during the design phase of System 360. Prior to NPL System 360, the company's computer designers had been free to honor cost objectives not only by selecting technologies but also by fashioning functional and architectural refinements. The spread compatibility objective, in contrast, postulated a single architecture for a series of five processes spanning a wide range of cost and performance. None of the five engineering design teams could count on being able to bring about adjustments in architectural specifications as a way of easing difficulties in achieving cost and performance objectives. Some virtual machines that support byte code as their ISA such as Smalltalk, the Java Virtual Machine, and Microsoft's Common Language Runtime, implement this by translating the byte code for commonly used code paths into native machine code. In addition, these virtual machines execute less frequently used code paths by interpretation. Transmeta implemented the x86 instruction set atop VLIW processes in this fashion. Classification of instruction sets A complex instruction set computer has many specialized instructions, some of which may only be rarely used in practical programs. A reduced instruction set computer simplifies the processor by efficiently implementing only the instructions that are frequently used in programs. While the less common operations are implemented as subroutines, having their resulting additional processor execution time offset by infrequent use. Theoretically important types are the minimal instruction set computer and the one instruction set computer, but these are not implemented in commercial processors. Another variation is the very long instruction word where the processor receives many instructions encoded and retrieved in one instruction word. Machine language. Machine language is built up from discrete statements or instructions. On the processing architecture, a given instruction may specify particular registers for arithmetic, addressing, or control functions, particular memory locations or offsets, particular addressing modes used to interpret the operands. More complex operations are built up by combining these simple instructions, which are executed sequentially, or as otherwise directed by control flow instructions. Instruction types Examples of operations common to many instruction sets include data handling and memory operations set a register to a fixed constant value, copy data from a memory location to a register, or vice versa, use to store the contents of a register, result of a computation, or to retrieve stored data to perform a computation on it later, read and write data from hardware devices. Arithmetic and logic operations add, subtract, multiply or divide the values of two registers, placing the result in a register, possibly setting one or more condition codes in a status register, perform bitwise operations, e.g., taking the conjunction and disjunction of corresponding bits in a pair of registers, taking the negation of each bit in a register, compare two values in registers. Control flow operations branch to another location in the program and execute instructions there. Conditionally branch to another location if a certain condition holds. 
indirectly branch to another location, call another block of code, while saving the location of the next instruction as a point to return to. Complex instructions CISC processes include complex instructions in their instruction set. A single complex instruction does something that may take many instructions on other computers. Such instructions are typified by instructions that take multiple steps, control multiple functional units, or otherwise appear on a larger scale than the bulk of simple instructions implemented by the given processor. Some examples of complex instructions include saving many registers on the stack at once, moving large blocks of memory, complicated integer and floating point arithmetic, SIMD instructions, a single instruction performing an operation on many values in parallel, performing an atomic test and set instruction or other read modify write atomic instruction, instructions that perform ALU operations with an operand from memory rather than a register, a complex instruction type that has become particularly popular recently is the SIMD or single instruction stream multiple data stream operation or vector instruction, that is an operation that performs the same arithmetic operation on multiple pieces of data at the same time. SIMD have the ability of manipulating large vectors and matrices in minimal time. SIMD instructions allow easy parallelization of algorithms commonly involved in sound, image, and video processing. Various SIMD implementations have been brought to market under trade names such as MMX, 3DNOW, and Altavec. Specialized processor types like GPUs for example also provide complex instruction sets. Nonetheless many of these specialized processor complex instruction sets do not have a publicly available native instruction set and native assembly language for proprietary hardware-related reasons and are usually only accessible to software developers through standardized higher-level languages, and APUS. The OpenGL Virtual Instruction Set and Virtual Assembly Language ARB Assembly Language and CUDA are examples of such hardware abstraction layers on top of the specialized processor native instruction set. Parts of an instruction on traditional architectures, an instruction includes an opcode that specifies the operation to perform, such as add contents of memory to register, and zero or more operand specifiers, which may specify registers, memory locations, or literal data. The operand specifiers may have addressing modes determining their meaning or may be in fixed fields. In very long instruction word architectures, which include many microcode architectures, multiple simultaneous opcodes and operands are specified in a single instruction. Some exotic instruction sets do not have an opcode field or the fourth virtual machine, only operon. Other unusual, zero operand, instruction sets lack any operand specifier fields such as some stack machines including NOSC, better source needed, conditional instructions often have a predicate field, a few bits that encode the specific condition to cause the operation to be performed rather than not performed. For example, a conditional branch instruction will be executed, and the branch taken, if the condition is true, so that execution proceeds to a different part of the program, and not executed, and the branch not taken, if the condition is false, so that execution continues sequentially. Some instruction sets also have conditional moves, so that the move will be executed, and the data stored in the target location, if the condition is true, and not executed, and the target location not modified, if the condition is false. Similarly, IBM Z architecture has a conditional store. A few instruction sets include a predicate field in every instruction, this is called branch predication. Instruction length The size or length of an instruction varies widely, from as little as 4 bits in some microcontrollers to many hundreds of bits in some VLIW systems. Processors used in personal computers, mainframes, and supercomputers have instruction sizes between 8 and 64 bits. 
The longest possible instruction on x86 is 15 bytes. Within an instruction set, different instructions may have different lengths. In some architectures, notably most reduced instruction set computers, instructions are a fixed length, typically corresponding with that architecture's word size. In other architectures, instructions have variable length, typically integral multiples of a byte or a half word. Some such as the ARM with thumb extension have mixed variable encoding, that is two fixed, usually 32-bit and 16-bit encodings, where instructions cannot be mixed freely but must be switched between on a branch. A RISC instruction set normally has a fixed instruction width, whereas a typical CISC instruction set may have instructions of widely varying length. Fixed width instructions are less complicated to handle than variable width instructions for several reasons, and are therefore somewhat easier to optimize for speed. Representation The instructions constituting a program are rarely specified using their internal numeric form. They may be specified by programmers using an assembly language or, more commonly, may be generated from programming languages by compilers. Design The design of instruction sets is a complex issue. There were two stages in history for the microprocessor. The first was the CISC, which had many different instructions. In the 1970s, however, places like IBM did research and found that many instructions in a set could be eliminated. The result was the RISC, an architecture that uses a smaller set of instructions. A simpler instruction set may offer the potential for higher speeds, reduced processor size, and reduced power consumption. However, a more complex set may optimize common operations, improve memory, cache efficiency, or simplify programming. Some instruction set designers reserve one or more opcodes for some kind of system call or software interrupt. For example, MOS Technology 6502 uses OOH. Zilog Z80 uses the 8 code C7, CF, D7, DF, E7, F, F7, FFH, while Motorola 68000 use codes in the range A000, AFFFH. Fast virtual machines are much easier to implement if an instruction set meets the Popek and Goldberg virtualization requirements. The NOP slide used in immunity-aware programming is much easier to implement if the unprogrammed state of the memory is interpreted as a NOP on systems with multiple processors. Non-blocking synchronization algorithms are much easier to implement if the instruction set includes support for something such as fetch and add, load link, store conditional, or atomic compare and swap.